Hello everyone, my name is Harry and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. Last night, after I was editing, I realised that I had missed quite a few hats. Um, I went back last night until like 3am and, uh, and got the rest of the hats that I'd missed. Uh, I got the, the gnome DLC so I can wear a little gnome hat if I want. Uh, I got this creepy bear one. Look at the state of that. This is my favourite, the, uh, the fur hat. Uh, we got four left. So we've appeased our hat fetish. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm tired, but I do have some coffee. So that's gonna keep me going. Good, so let's just, let's crack it and let's crack on. Uh, so then the last one, we, we encountered some creepy mannequins that only move in the dark and you can stop their movement with the light. Um, there's one really frustrating bit where there's about 10 or 11 of them in the same room and it was just I was, it was very irritating but we got there in the end now this place looks oh and also um six is back sorry to blind you six but i'm just yeah um so we found a little yellow raincoat on the floor and then our our companion put it on and then it became immediately clear that that is six our companion is six well i you know it could be i could be completely wrong and could just be six's raincoat but it, it yeah it's it is definitely six to me um so this must be a prequel of course as i mentioned before I've gone into this game not knowing anything about the story or where it occurs in the timeline um, but I'm really impressed so far this this is a masterpiece and they've done such a great job again why is this I need this don't come at me. Six, you keep you keep holding that. Oh man, just pick up the pipe. One thing about the pipes is he doesn't grab them. I've mentioned in the last one as well that they've they've definitely made this this little nightmare is a lot more difficult than the uh, the last one. Which is good actually, because it you know it makes you think more. Yeah, that's right. Sneaky. Come from over there this time. Oh, come on! That's it. Oh, no, there's two! Oh, I should have dropped it and just gone through the gap. These things are grim. Just can't get close to him, otherwise they'll grab me straight away. I oh, come here. Oh no, they're just... Oh, they're just relentless, aren't they? There we go, that's one down. There we go, right, pick it up. Come on! Yes! All right, I can help you now. Here we are, let's go. What on earth? This game is amazing. Oh, we have a new boss. Oh gosh, is this the doctor? Oh no! Look at the state of that! Oh mate, no thank you. Look at the state of that! 
Right, let's just watch what it does first. Come on, let's hide behind here. Oh, we need to go through that little gap there. Okay, fine, let's go. Wait, we just need to... Patience is key. This is horrible. Oh man, I need, I need something to throw at that. Something down there. Do I need to go down under the beds? I needed one of those little monkey toys. Oh, he's got his head back of his head to us. I'm not risking it. Just stay here for a minute. He's grim, isn't he? He's absolutely grim. Right. Right, we got it. So we need to make our way back now. All right, great. Let's go. Oh, my days. Stand here. Oh. oh I'm going to get caught again, aren't I? Okay, I think we're good. Six, you've got some stones. Okay, great. Okay, I don't think there's any hats, which is a very sad time. I like this hat though, man. This hat's cool. This little fur. Sorry, this little fur hat that I've got. Oh, okay, I see. Six has shown me the way. Becoming a leader now, are you, huh? I'm really excited to see how this leads into the first one. So I am assuming that it's a prequel. I keep saying it, but I do assume that it's a prequel. Take it nice and easy. Can't get us. Hope.
Uh, there's a rag there we can drop down. Great. Okay. Right. Right, I just need a key. Wait, have I glitched in front of a into a locker? Can I open any of these? Lock me in. Oh. Oh, okay. I know what you're trying to do now. Right, if I get in here then. And you give me a push. To the other side. I thought six was being crazy. Trying to lock me in. Any hats on these? Purely speculating, of course. No. Oh, hang on. I see what this is. This is a way for me to get up here. Gonna be a key. It's gonna be a key somewhere. Got another hat. What we got? We got a mummy hat. Yeah, that's quite cool. I might keep that on. Right, there's the. Okay, so we're gonna have to have. We're gonna have to get up on top of the locker there. I guess. Wait. Okay. Hang on. Ooh. Um, okay, so we jump up on here, we jump up on here, jump up there, well this one, no, right so there's something else we need to do. Ah, what's in here? No, oh, nothing. There we go, we got it. Wait, what's up here? Is there anything up here? No, there's not. I got myself stuck. Darn it, start again, okay. Now we've got a key. Come on. There we go. Got the ruddy key. Right. So I can get back in here now. And six can pull me back in. I'm loving this. It's um for me a lot better than the first one. The first one was really really cool, but then this one just it's just awesome. It's amazing. Okay, what we got in here now? Jump up on here.
What are you doing? The doctor is creepy, man. I like my new mask. Mask. I keep saying mask. I like my new hat, though. My new hat is cool. Oh, there he is again. <clears throat> so I need a fuse. You are a big boy, aren't you? Hey? Fuse is up there. In the locker. It's going to be a pretty difficult one to grab, isn't it? Uh, right, what's the course of course of action here. Get under that table there. Is he a doctor or is he a mortician? Make more sense if he's a mortician, wouldn't it? All these dead limbs about. Alright, oh my gosh, what's going on? Right, I need to. So gross. I wonder what happens if I jump up onto the bed. Can I? Oh, I don't think I can. Okay, that's that's fine. Probably get my chance though. But I've got to drop down, I guess. And grab this as I fall. Oh, I didn't do it. And I died, which is awesome. It's this way. There we go. It's flat lines, so we need to get under the table. Okay, right, need to go while he's busy there and go and grab this key. Right, you need to give me a you need to give me a hand. Let's go. Awesome. He did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Almost missed the ramp then. Oh no! Oh, for Man, six has got pace compared to me. Yes! Flipping heck. Slow down then towards the edge. Oh my days. Oh my gosh. No thank you. This is horrific, this.
Come on. Turn it on. <laughs> See you later, mate. Right, let's just cool. Let's just warm our hands up, shall we? What if I go in here? Died. There we are. It's all right. Anyway, we've uh, we've completed the task, so that's good. Right, you give me a, a leg up, and I'll grab the switch. Doctor Douchebag is dead. What's wrong? We did it! We did it six, come on! Okay, is this the end of the hospital level now? So those, those things, those kind of people that we've been collecting, and they're just called Ashy Remains, I think. So there's not really, I, I'm not sure what they represent yet. Okay, so I assume we need this for the door. Do we? Oh no, we don't. Okay. Is this the exit? Are we finished the hospital level now? We're out of the hospital. Yeah. All right. What have we got? What's next? Any more uh, ashy remains? What's that? Is there anything up there? No, nothing. Okay. The whole environment and the environmental storytelling is just sublime. Music, sound design, everything is just spot on. What are those? The bodies? Slightly grim. Oh gosh, I can... Whistling. This, that isn't unsettling at all. Oh, and there's someone there. Oh. That's a nice tune, I'll give you that. Go up there, do I? Oh, look, it's the teacher on the wall. What are you doing? Just staring at him.
Alright, let's go up this ladder then. Wait, what's up there? Can we keep going? No, we can't. Hmm. Sure. I still got my torch, which is good. What on earth is going on? I seem to just have to avoid these people. A TV over there. Uh, let's give him a wide berth. Great. Okay. G give me a give me a, a foot up to there. Great. Someone's in the bath. Russian TV in the bath. Right, okay. So that's locked, so I need a key for it. So I need to stay. I need to hold it. Wait, no, don't. Okay. Oh, I do need a key, so... How do I get out of there? Oh, I see. I need to jump off. It's alright, six. I'm gonna come get you. Awesome. Okay, I'm up here now. It's great. So, uh, I doubt this is gonna do anything because I can't reach it. A key. There we go, there's a key. Anything else up here? Any any hats? <clears throat> no hats. Fine. That's it. Well, I didn't do anything, so... What do we need to do here? If we go in here now... Ah, there. Okay, let's... Let's try that. And that's where we came from. In there. So, what do we need to do exactly? Do we need to go around here? What's wrong? Why are you sat down? Do I need to send the lift down and then jump out the lift? I don't, I don't think I can do that, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, 
Oh, maybe. Okay, let's try this. Oh, oh, I see, I see. You're clever. What have we got? Oh, hang on, there's a... There's a grate here. Let's just see what's behind this door, shall we? What have we got in here? Ah, there's a little uh, ashy remain there. So what's the significance of this room? It's just loads of creepy stuff hanging from the ceiling. Guys, I might leave that one there for this episode. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. Uh, I'm loving this game so far. It's so good. Uh, the environmental storytelling, the atmosphere, the the game controls, the fact that it's slightly more challenging than the last one is really cool as well. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe uh, if you're enjoying this series as well. Leave a comment down below what we think about these videos so far. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.